Rich is off on his holidays all week, so we got some very special stand-ins. Josh and George from Union J Hello. are here. Hello there. Yes, and Josh, you have uh, yeah. news of a national treasurer in a rather unusual role. We do, yeah. Barbara Windsor is the voice of God in Monty Python's oh, Spamalot yes. in the West End. So she's um, it's usually played by men, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite nice to hear um, a female being portrayed as God, don't you think? It is. Yeah. Definitely. Why not? Yeah. I've Why always not? secretly suspected George. Yeah. Got, yeah, got, yeah, got suspicions. Yeah. That's what a lot of people yeah. Think. <laughs> and it debuted last night, and it's gone down an absolute storm. Yeah. And in the next few weeks, you've got people like Bradley Walsh, Simon Callow, and Christopher Biggins to look forward to playing. All big names. And the voice of God. So it's going to be really good. And George. He's got a little story about Barbara. I do. Yeah, yeah it's quite funny actually. My next door neighbour is also called Barbara, and I call her Babs for short. So when I met Barbara <laughs> Wins, I was like, "You have Babs?" She's like, "Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Just don't call me Babs again." <laughs> got, got the off, it was like a you? nice telling off, though. It was like oh, yeah. an endearing telling off. <laughs> <Endearing. laughs> a cup you from the air, yeah. exactly. from the day. Yeah. <laughs> and George, you've got an exclusive new visit video I from do. someone that yeah. you know very well because he's with you. Jason Derulo, he has his new video has aired finally. It's um. Just come follows up from the other side, his hit single. Other side was an amazing song, and he was obviously amazing out for a year, song. wasn't he? With yep. a neck injury. Yeah, he was out for a year. He's written two songs on our album as well, which is incredible. Co written them with Steve Mack, which we're really excited for. But as Josh said, um, he's just recovered from his neck injury, and um, his single's out in September. Okay, can we have a look? Let's have a look. You talk dirty to me. He came into the studio actually in the opening bit of his, his set when he was performing here. He was stood on his head, and we we're all like holding our necks because okay. you couldn't believe it because it's only recent. Yeah, he's a great dancer. And then he spun round and we're like, no, not the neck. Well, I can imagine you two doing. I'm going to say, <laughs> come on. You show me the steps after the program. Exactly. Yeah? Yeah, we'll do that after the show. No problem. Show my video tomorrow. <laughs> um, you're the uh, movie buff, aren't you? Apparently, that's what the yeah, boys do. You love a good movie, don't we you? We do love movies. George and I, in particular, yeah. are a bit of a movie geek. So, um, and then we've got another exclusive today: movie trailer for Ender's Game, which looks. It's absolutely amazing, and it's not set in Albert Square before. It's a wicked sci fi, though. If you love sci fi, you've got to watch it. Exactly. It's, it's a sci fi film about Ender Wiggin, who's played by Asa Butterfield. Mm. And he's also starring alongside people like Harrison Ford and Ben Kingsley. So it's an amazing achievement for him, and he's a newcomer. Amazing so cast. Yeah. Amazing cast. Yeah, let's have a look. If we're going to survive, we need a new kind of soldier one who doesn't think the way we think. Fear the things we fear. One the enemy would never expect. You'll be the finest commander we've ever trained. So I'm not the first? No. But you will be the last. That looks incredible. Ooh, Doesn't it really yeah, good? Yeah, really, really good. Exciting stuff. And I hear you like your documentaries, George. I it's do, I love documentaries. I start one. falling asleep to them. Do you? Yeah, like it's the voice. That's not the idea. I think that what the program makers not would the plan, like. That. Not lullabies, like the deep voice, George. I think. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> but this yeah, is Stephen Fry. Stephen Fry's new um, documentary called Keys to the City is airing tonight on ITV. And Stephen's actually recently made Freeman of the City of London. That's mm -hmm. impressive. Yeah, which means back in the olden days, you, he would have been able to bring cattle and sheep. <laughs> We're laughing about this. Could you Cattle imagine sheep on the London Bridge? Could you imagine driving down the bridge and just avoiding <laughs> sheep? <laughs> like it would just be the weirdest thing, wouldn't it? Steve could, could, yeah. could get away Steve with it. Steve Fry could get away with it. Let's have a look at it, shall we? Let's have a look. On the ground floor, there may be marbled halls, but in the basement, the emphasis is not on show, but security. Oh my. Is that what I think it is? Good Lord. 20 pounds. Huge. <laughs> Thank, well you for having us. Thank, really you. Thank you. Thank you. Come Thank back you. again. We will. We will do. That's yeah. so much fun. Pop back. Uh, we've got the weather now. Here's Alex.